Tom Trapetta here. Having your name prominently displayed in the Carver Gym is a perfect tribute for all you've done for the center, as well as for others' efforts to educate and guide our young people. From all of us at the Fairfield County Sports Commission, we thank you for the longtime support and we send you the energy and strength to continue your amazing work for many years to come. I first met Dick Wickham in a gymnasium, so it's great to see that it's come full circle and to think that a whole new generation of kids will be coming through that gymnasium and seeing his name above it. What an honor, Dick. You sure deserve it. Congratulations and wish I could be there to celebrate with you. Hope you're well. Hi, Dick. It's Rich and Alex here. I'm so happy to be part of the Carver dedication of the gym in your name. No one deserves it more than you do. Dick, you've touched so many lives, both at Carver and throughout your life, starting initially with your introduction of the seventh grade class at St. Luke's School, where you're the headmaster, hosting the Carver Christmas party probably 30 plus years ago, right up to your re-engagement with Carver over the years. You've touched so many people, and this is a mere token of our appreciation for what you've done. So now, future generations of Carver kids and Carver people and alumni are gonna know who Dick Whitcomb is. Thank you, Dick. We love, love you. you. Congratulations, Dick. This is indeed a well-deserved honor. Your passion for Carver students is second to none. I'm grateful for your contributions and the connections you've made for Carver Center. Your advocacy is invaluable. Dick, you are often the light at our board meetings, always ready to try new initiatives. Your will make it happen attitude infected us. Thank you, Dick. You helped us to believe it will happen and you help to make things happen for Carver students. Because of you, the Carver Center is the little engine that could, helping our students to realize their dream. Thank you, my friend, and be well. Hi, Dick. I wanted to say thank you. Thank you for taking a chance on me way back in 1998. I had no idea what I was walking into when I started working at St. Luke's. I thought it was just a job and it's been so much more than that. Um, you are an incredibly remarkable human being. You know what's best for people sometimes before they even know what is best for them. And I wanted you to know that we Beskins love you and are so grateful and thankful for all you have done for us. And um, just having known you is a true treasure for me. All right, congratulations on this honor. Love you. Hey, Mr. Wickham, this is Shannon Bates. And I wanna send you a very special thank you for all your support and everything that you do for us at the Carver and in the community of Norwalk. Look forward to seeing you soon. Hey Dick, congratulations on the opening of the Whitcomb Gymnasium at the Carver Center. A fitting tribute for all the hard work of building lifetime achievers. And thanks too for educating our four daughters. Thanks for the memories. Dick, you've changed so many lives for the better, including my own. Congratulations on this wonderful recognition and thank you to the Carver Center. We love you, Dick. Congratulations, Dick. We do not know anyone else that has an entire gymnasium named after them. Way to go, man. Well deserved. When we think of you, here's what your first name, Dick, means to us. The D in your name stands for dedication dedication to the mission and ideals of the children of our community. You have impacted too many people to count. The I is for inspirational. You give everything of yourself always. You motivate others to follow your lead. Then there's the C. You are and will always be Mr. Carver in Norwalk. Your indefatigable belief in providing access and opportunity to all kids is totally remarkable. Finally, the K, simply stated. The K stands for kids. When you are asked to benefit the kids, no one can ever turn you down because for you, the kids come first. So, so from, from both, both of us, our, our eternal, eternal gratitude, gratitude and, and thanks, thanks for, for your, your commitment. commitment. You, you are, are the, the best. best. Dick, six years ago when I started at Carver, they told me to get to know one of our big supporters, Dick Whitcomb. Boy, did I enjoy our lunches at Sedona Tap House and our dinners at Joe's Pizza. I certainly came to learn the importance of drive and opportunity in life. 
God bless you and Barbara for impacting so many Carver kids. You are one of my heroes. Hey, Mr. Dink, it's Gabby from University of Bridgeport. I just really want to say thank you so much. I am grateful, also grateful for you coming into my life because of you, you gave me an opportunity to get to where I need to be in life. And because of you, you've inspired me, honestly, to continue my education. And after dental hygiene school, I do want to become a dentist. So I am going to be applying for um, dental school. Also, you have inspired me to be the best person that I can be. And also you've had faith in me when I honestly didn't have faith in myself. And I just truly am grateful for you. And I'm thankful for everything that you've done for me and the opportunities that you gave me. So this degree that I'm getting in May will be dedicated to you. And I'm so grateful and thank you that um, you've came into my life. God bless. Congratulations, Mr. Wickham. You are so deserving of this dedication and so much more. I, I can go on and on about how much you've done for people and how much you do, but they already know that. So let me just tell you about me. I want to say thank you for your friendship, for your guidance, for your encouragement, for wanting my happiness, and for always wanting the best for me. You'll never know how much that means to me to have someone like you in your corner. Thank you, Mr. Wickham. I love you. Hey, Mr. Wickham. Congratulations on the grand opening of the Richard Wickham Gymnasium at the Carver Center. Thank you so much for all you do for the kids and also for those of us who aren't kids anymore. The pictures of the gym look beautiful. And when all of this is over and we're all vaccinated, I can't wait to meet you there in person and see it with my own eyes. Love you. Congratulations, Dick. What an honor to have this gymnasium named after you, a tribute to your dedication to the Carver Center. Thank you for all that you've done for me, for St. Luke's, and for literally every person you meet. You are an incredible person, and we are all so lucky to know you. I feel so grateful to have you and Barbara in my life. Congratulations. Good afternoon, Dick. Uh, this is Phil Butterfield here. Uh, I'm speaking today as president of uh, the Carver Foundation, and I'm pleased to add my voice uh, to all of those persons who are here today to pay tribute to your long-standing relationship uh, with Carver. When I chatted with uh, Novelette and colleagues, I learned that uh, your relationship with Carver goes back uh, some 50 years. And uh, I think that that's extraordinary. Uh, there are very few things in today's society that uh, la last half as long. So the fact that uh, you are nearing the 50 year mark is a tribute to uh, your personal commitment, your stamina, and uh, your goodwill uh, as a, a person. I also uh, believe that uh, you, know, you represent an extraordinary combination of both philanthropy and education. Uh, and uh, I hope that uh, your name uh, over the, uh, in the gymnasium at Carver will cause our young people to ask a question if they don't know who you are, that they will ask and uh, they will be told that uh, Dick Whitcomb is a man who cared uh, about young people, who coaxed them, who coached them, who advised them, who advocated on their behalf and made them better citizens. Uh, and uh, in gaining that knowledge, I hope uh, that they too will become inspired to do the best that they are capable of doing to make our world a better place. So congratulations on a job well done over the years, and uh, we look forward to uh, having you with us uh, for quite a, a, you know, a meaningful time more. And we appreciate all that you've done uh, for the Carver organization. Thank you. Hi, Dick. I am honored to pay tribute to you in naming the Carver Gymnasium in your honor. 
You have helped so many students and adults in your lifetime, and we are all very grateful to you for proving that every student is educable given the opportunity. We have known each other for 41 years, and I want you to know that you are my mentor, my friend, and my hero. Congratulations on the tribute well deserved. Mr. Wickham, you are a huge support to the Carver. I can personally attest to that um, through your support and like phone calls that you made um, throughout my college searching journey. Um, your support has helped me and other students become as successful as we are today. Um, it is only fitting that we have this gymnasium named after you as a small token of appreciation for all that you have done for the Carver. Thank you for always being there for me and for everyone at the Carver. Thank you so much. Hi, Dick. Just wanted to say many, many, many congratulations on all your awesome work at the Carver Center. Uh, I cannot imagine a better honor um, to honor a guy like you um, by dedicating the gymnasium to you, the Dick Whitcomb uh, Gymnasium at the Carver Center. That's awesome. So proud of you. I love you. Congratulations. Hey, Dick. Sue Flaxbart here. Can you believe I'm about to finish up my 40th and last year at St. Luke's? And it's all because way back then you gave a guy like me a chance just like you've been giving the kids at the Carver Center a chance for all this time. And now, congratulations for the honor of having the gymnasium named after you. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. You've really made a difference. Right. Mr. Wickham, thank you so much for all you've done for so many people, all the work you've done at the Carver Center, and for me personally. Uh, you're an amazing person. All the best. Wishing you peace and blessings. Hi, Dick. This is Liza and Lenny down in Naples, Florida. We miss you guys. Wish you were here. Hey, Dick, congratulations on uh, getting the gym name for you at Carver. I know you've done tremendous work there, and I know they love you. And uh, I think it's wonderful that you've got a gym named after you. So congratulations to you and Barb. We love you guys. Hey, Dick, 60 years ago, we busted into the gym at St. Luke's, and today they're naming a gym after you. Boy, we've come a long ways. Congratulations. You've done a lot of great things at the Carver Center and throughout your whole life, and I'm proud to call you my friend. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations, Grandpa. We love you. We love you so much, and we're so love proud you. of you. Love you. Love you. Hi, Grandpa. We just want to say congratulations um, on the Carver Center dedication. As your grandchildren, we are very proud of you, and we love you, and you definitely deserve it more than anyone else. Papa, we love you, and we are so proud of you. Thank you for being the best grandfather. Looking out for us kids. Pop Pop. You wrote wrote me a letter and say you are proud to call my friends so we so I am and I love you hi congratulations on the dedication of the Richard Whitcomb gymnasium a well-deserved honor may your commitment and generosity be paid forward by all who pass through its doors well done Bless you, love you, Lauren. Congratulations, Dick, on this well-deserved honor. You have been a Carver champion for so many years, and they are truly blessed to have you as part of the Carver family. Yes, congratulations, Dick. I can't imagine what it's like to have a gymnasium named after you, but it's all good because you have been there through all the ups and downs, and here we are today celebrating your name on the, their gymnasium. Thank you so much for your philanthropy. 
for your goodwill and for investing in our children here in Norwalk. God bless you and all the best. Yes, Dick, investing in children, you will get the greatest return on your dollar from any investment that you could ever make. And you are helping our young people in Norwalk grow and develop to their fullest potential and be able to make Norwalk and Connecticut and the world a better place. Yes. Absolutely. Well said. Thank you, Once Dick. Once again, thank you. Hi, Dick. It's Nikki. In the three years that I've gotten to know you at Carver, what stands out most is your joy around the kids. You greet every child you see. When you ask, how are you doing? Do you need anything? It's not in passing. The whole world stops for this exchange. Your commitment to ensuring that kids receive an excellent education is truly awesome. We are so thrilled to honor you today and to make sure that every future Carver kid knows you are rooting for them. Thank you. The extraordinary effect that Wickham has on all who know him is to be accounted for in one word, enthusiasm. Carver is where it is today because of Dick's enthusiasm for my vision for the Carver community from the very start. He's so absolutely and universally loved. I can only hope that I was worthy of his believing in me and remaining so devoted to our cause here at Carver through all these years. Other qualities that everyone first appreciates in Dick is his extraordinary generosity, his energetic spirit, and his unfailing service to others. If Dick has any faults, it is his excess virtue. A little more relentlessness of ambition would easily have increased the sphere of his fame. But that is not what drives him. And so, I had the never to be forgotten advantage and great blessing of being the focus of his virtue and enthusiasm for all these years. Carver's growing fame is the reflected glory of Dick's profound generosity and wisdom. Here I was, so many years ago now, new to Carver, new to Norwalk, and even new to Connecticut. And there Dick was, his readiness to confer with and listen to me, combined with his integrity and his complete and simple devotion to doing good was everything I needed to do some extraordinary things for Carver. In his eyes, I could do no wrong, so long as I always made the success of our kids our first and only priority. Yes, we named the gym after Dick, but the real story of Dick's countless and, pri and priceless contributions to the Carver community are revealed in the thousands of lives, including my own, that he touched and transformed. The gym is the very heart of our community center, but Dick lives in each of our hearts. There's no sign that can recognize that. Only our actions going forth can truly honor this great man. Only our own single-minded goodness and what we can each give to Carver Youth can honor what Dick has so generously, so enthusiastically, and so freely given to everyone here. <laughs>